ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to World of Tanks, this is me, these games, and I welcome you in 9.3 test server. As you know, 9.3 brings us a lot of new tanks, especially light tanks, and T-54 lightweight is one of them. So in this video, we are going to test out and we are going to review T-54 lightweight. And your, your job right now is just to count how many blow-ups you see in this clip, <laughs> because there are a lot of them. I don't know what's going on with test server, but uh, there are a lot of blow-ups. So I'm afraid Wargame just wants to see more turret flying or some something like that. Anyways, D-54 lightweight. New tier 8 Soviet light tank and uh, really, this, this tank, I can't see how this can be light tank. Because just look at the comparison with D-54. It is basically the same tank, copy based. How they lost all that weight, um, I have no idea. Armor, yes, I know it has weaker armor, a lot weaker armor, but I can't see that. I cannot see the armor chains, basically. Um, maybe gun is weaker, that's why ammunition is weaker, ammunition is not that heavy, maybe. Is that explanation or not? I don't know. Just, yeah. And people are saying that um, D-54 lightweight looks a lot like uh, Type 59 as well. So, in comparison, they're not lying. It really looks a lot like uh, Type 59 as well. So, Wargame didn't have to do much to render that tank in the game. <laughs> because it was already in the game. Talking about guns. Here are three guns. Uh, from the same tier, D-54 Lightweight, Type 59 and WC-132. Because WC-132 uh, feels a lot like uh, D-54 Lightweight. A lot of players who has WC-132, they are going to say that as well. They are going to um, back me up on that. Because um, it is like, or it was like a uh, little D-54 before that. So, uh, from the gun we can see penetration is not the highest, but the damage and the DPM, however, is the best out of all these three, because uh, 250 they have all the same average damage, but uh, rate of fire, rounds per minute, D54 lightweight is winning that battle by 7.5. Uh, so, accuracy, not the best in the middle, uh, aiming time, one of the best, so... Gun, all in all, is pretty decent. But I heard they are going to nerf some tanks that are in the game right now as well. For example, WC, so we just have to wait how the DPMs are at the end of that. Uh, all the changes, and we'll see after that. Now, equipment-wise. I believe two main things are pretty easy and pretty common. Medium caliber tank condramer, just improve your DPM, and go to the optics on light tank. Because you are doing a lot of spotting, so extra view range helps. But um, what I'm testing out right now is, as you know, ventilation improves all your clear skills 5%, your acceleration, turning, uh, shooting, whatever, 5%. But as I am light tank, I'm moving always. When I'm shooting, well, I'm moving. So shooting on the move, plus 20% accuracy is actually pretty goddamn important for light tank. So that's why right now I chose vertical stabilizer for uh, T-54 lightweight. And I'm gonna see how this goes, so maybe later I'm gonna, going to change it out. We'll see. But yeah, ammunition loadout, 22 shots, regular ammunition, uh, 10 premium shots, because in the matches you are going to be with T-54 you need those premium shots because 175 penetration versus tier 10s sometimes well most of the times is not going to cut it two hg shells just to stop the cap small repair first aid and automatic fire extinguisher because you have to use automatic fire extinguisher that's simple uh crew skills nothing too crazy first skill for the commander obviously six cents repairs for uh, for all the other guys your second skill mm, 
doesn't matter actually what you take just take one skill that fits you fits your playstyle uh, loader should be safe dodge would be nice accuracy on the move maybe uh, on gunner and uh, driver well and your third skill can be camo because uh, many times you find yourself behind the bush trying to spot for targets because light tanks they are making the game when they spot good spotters good light tank players can win so many games in world of tanks so yeah pretty standard uh, crew setup and um, all the other setups for this guy now at the start i forgot to mention that i had a chance to test out a new Moravanka as well magic forest so-called magic forest map if you don't know Moravanka. But uh, what they did, uh, first impression is really, really nice. Uh, no camping in the forest, at least not in the test server. Well, test server doesn't tell you anything basically, because everyone are playing without brains and shooting cold or premium shots. Sorry, sorry. Uh, but um, what they did right now feels really, really interesting. I would like to test it out more. But uh, that battle actually was for my best with uh, T54 lightweight, so enjoy. And once we were comparing WC132 and T54 lightweight, then uh, let's do it more. People may know it better uh, in that way. Maybe. Probably. Possibly. So, yeah, here we go. T54, 7 ton heavier than WC132, so that means better ramming speed, better armor heavier, you are heavier, uh, but um, the engine power on T-54 is 180 HP more, so heavier but more powerful, pretty equal to me. I'm afraid uh, T-54 has better acceleration, especially in uphill. I have to compare these two side by side to be sure, but um, I believe so. Why it shouldn't be? I don't know. Uh, WC has better top speed and turns better. It is more agile, all in all situations, I mean. But um, top speed could be limited on T54 uh, as well. So not sure. But uh, the uh, that WC is going faster, top speed. T54, however, has more HP and better armor. I like that HP bar. I like to have more HP. Well, for example, if you are 200 HP more, just think how many times you have been under 200 HP. A lot. So do I. So that is super useful. Uh, but about the armor, uh, let's be honest. The games you are going to get in the 54 lightweight, the armor is irrelevant. They are going to penetrate you anyway. Tier 9 guns, tier 10 guns... Tier 10 guns, for example, are going to be auto bends against you. Almost 100% of times. Well, you can get some out, uh, some ridiculous RNG bounces out from that, but... Um, don't, count, don't count on that. The only place where that um, extra armor can help you is against other lights maybe you can get into some kind of weird angle and bounce that way and against artillery so splash damage it doesn't splash you as much and um, less chance that they are going to pen you with um, with HGL as well these are the only places where that armor can help you but uh, all in all comparing these two I believe D54 is going to win, simply because it has better DPM. And in the end, if you want to do some damage as well, with spotting damage, then uh, DPM counts. And 175 pen, well, is decent in tier 10 battles, but you have to, but still, you have to work your ass off. For example, what I did in this battle, a lot of artilleries, what I did, I just kept them lit up for my team, for my artillery. 
and um, the result is pretty nice. Or what do you think, bro? So this battle was actually my fourth or fifth battle in this bad boy, and already pretty decent result. So master bad says tanker. A new award fighter, destroy 4 or 5 enemy vehicles in one battle a Sharpshooter, a spotter When you're playing with scout, then you won't see that award on your belt Spot enemy vehicles enabling your allies to cause 1000 HP of damage in one battle And fire for effect You have to cause more damage to enemy vehicles than, your, than the hit points on your vehicle 1.8 thousand experience, 55 thousand credits Interior rate light, come on guys, not bad. And uh, from team score we can see that tier 8 light carried the game. In heavy tier 10 battle, heavy tier 10 battle. Fifth by damage and first by experience. And first by kills as well. Close to 2000 uh, damage done, 4 kills, uh, 1219 raw experience. Not bad. Not bad at all. Shots are 13, penetration 10, I like that ratio, uh, thanks to Foch 155, because you can bend Foch 155 side pretty easily. And after, we were using some premium shots as you saw at the end, uh, but still we managed to make 24,000 credit profit. And when I'm driving with light tanks, I love to see numbers like this, 5,015 damage to your assistance. I'm happy about that number. When I'm driving with uh, light tank, especially every time I'm happy to see numbers like this, uh, damage to your assistant because it gives you money, it gives you credits, uh, experience. But in light tanks, yeah, it shows you you did something right here. So, really nice battle. And uh, what more? This is D54 lightweight. Do I recommend? For sure. I think you are going to have fun in this tank. It is a lot similar, a lot like um, WC-132 and I know everyone who has WC-132, they enjoy that. And uh, in my eyes this is even better. I'm going to get one when it comes out. And I can say I just recommend for you to do the same. You are going to have some fun in it. And um, basically D54. Lightweight. <laughs> yeah, as the name says. So guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope you learned something and um, I hope that made your decision making a little bit easier. More 9.3 new dank reviews coming up on my channel, so stay tuned. I thank you for watching, take care and bye. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,